Here is a quick video of some of my images, and I did a little test. Let's get right to it. Lightroom, here we go. I took a bunch of images of this little guy uh, with the NX30 and the NX300. Um, and I just changed the f-stop, so I'm starting at 2.8, and I think I end up at, an, at f16. Let me make this a little bit larger. Here we go. As you can see, so the uh, original setting is uh, 1 60th of a second. That was the highest sync speed, I think, with the NX300. Not sure what it is with the 30, but the 300, that's the sync speed. ISO 100, uh, 2.8 here, 45 millimeter prime, and uh, I had a w gray paper backdrop. I had two flashes in a octobox at about 45 degree, aiming at this little guy. And uh, here we go. So 2.8, let's take a close look. Pretty nice image, pretty sharp. The colors are good. These are all raw images, by the way, not touched in any way, shape, or form. And my white balance is set to flash. Um, pretty shallow depth of field. You know, it's a 45 millimeter prime. Um, you can see the little hat back here, out of focus. But overall, a nice image. And a lot of great detail. And this is the NX300, by the way. Great colors. All right, let's go to F4. So all I'm doing is I'm going one stop higher on my F-stop, and I'm taking the flashes up one stop as well. And it's amazing how the exposure remains the same. Kind of cool. Uh, here we go. A little bit sharper, of course. We're opening the lens a little bit more. Uh, again, great detail. And I think I'm getting some better colors now. You can see a bit more detail on the hat. Let's go down a little. Woo Let's go down. Not bad. Not bad at all. Next image. F5.6. Here, I think, where all the magic happens. Let's go large. Great detail, great colors. This looks really good. Really, really good. And we're talking about a $400 camera and a $250 lens. Under $700. And we're getting images like this. Okay, F8. I think I'm losing the image, right? I'm not getting that nice sharpness anymore. I can see more detail in the hat. Uh, there's more in focus, but I think I definitely like the five six better. You know, it's still a great image, a lot of detail. Looks fantastic, but for some reason, okay, let's go back. I like this one more, and this is the one at five six. All right, and then the last image. Oh no, there's F11. Again, we're starting to go a little soft, a little dull. I'm getting more of the head in focus. Let's see. But the image it's is starting to lose some of its sharpness. And then F16. Yeah. We are definitely starting to lose some detail, some sharpness. This is kind of weird, so I don't know if, if it's the lens or the sensor. So these were the images taken with the NX300. Now, let's go and view some of the images from the uh, NX30. So same exact settings, and this is the weird part. I had them both set on flash for the white balance, and this is what I got out of the NX30. It's kind of weird. The only thing I can relate it to is maybe it's calibrated to the pop-up flash. That's why I'm getting these weird colors. But let's see. Um, the colors are definitely off. So to keep things kind of the same, let's go to develop. I'm going to change the white balance. And here we go. That's pretty close. And then let's sync it to the rest. Doop, doop, doop. Sync. Okay. 
All right, so these are the images taken with the NX30, my new NX30. So here we go, same great image. Same great image, same result almost, very sharp, very shallow, colors are good. We're at 2.8, same. All right, let's go check it out at four. Again, a little bit more life in the bear. Let's get rid of this. Let's go to develop. Okay. All right. Let's get these things out of the way. Get that out of the way. All right, so that was F4. F5.6 with the NX30. Again, looks amazing. Lots of detail, very sharp. Great colors. Again, a raw image. Just kind of got the white balance to match the NX300. And let's go to F8. And the crazy thing is, the same thing starts to happen. Okay, here we go again. So once again, I think I'm losing some of the detail, some of the, I don't know, love at F8. F11. Again, it's not as sharp. Some of the details are lost. F16. Again, I think uh, a lot of the sharpness detail is lost. Definitely better results at F6. The colors are better, much sharper, much better image. All right, so that's the conclusion to this little test. Um, fantastic results on 5.6 with both cameras. Pretty much identical results. Um, and once again, I think they use the same exact sensor, so it's no surprise that we're getting. But I'm wondering if the 5.6 is a lens thing or a sensor thing. That I have to see. So I probably will do this test again with a different lens just to see what the results are. I should try it again with a 30 millimeter and see what happens. So that'll probably come next. Okay, and now another image. This is one from my event the other night. A great picture. Let's go take a look at the raw image first. So straight out of the camera, this is what I got, and it was uh, a slow shutter, 40th there, 5.6, 800 ISO, and uh, 45. So, pretty good picture. Let's go back and give it some life. There we go. Colors are great, everything is good. Really like this lens. Um, And here's that noise that I've been talking about. You know, even at 800 ISO, we are losing quite a bit of detail when you zoom in. But overall, not a bad image at all. Here's another one, a little bit quicker on the shutter, but another great image. Let's see, oh, fantastic. I think this camera is wonderful, you know, again, a little bit of noise, but it's not bad. You know, great images. I do really, really enjoy shooting with this camera. And this is the NX30, which I used 90% of that night. Um, in fact, uh, I don't think I'm submitting any of the photos taken with the NX30 or 300 to my client simply because I didn't like any of them. Not that they were bad, they were just not keepers. Um, all right, so again, great image, couldn't be happier, 
And once again, we're talking about a $500 lens and a $200, $250. I'm sorry, did I mess that up? A $500 camera and a $250 lens. So under $800 and you're able to produce very, very nice images. And the last image I'm going to go over is this one. This was more of a uh, another kind of a scene. I'm in a room. There are two LED lights, one on each side. So one's here, the other one's here. Um, again, ISO 800. This is the 30 millimeter lens. It was a small room. I would much rather use the 45, but just didn't have the room, so I put the 30 on. Um, this is a raw image, no retouch, nothing, and I'm just going to zoom in on the eye and show you guys this. So yes, we're losing a little bit of detail here. Uh, it could be sharper. You can see a little bit of noise, but overall, great image, I think. Uh, captured everything nice. You know. Nice depth of field. You can see the noise here. I really wish this was less. So again, if I could change one thing, it would be this camera. This was the NX300. Uh, it would be to change the way this camera, the NX300 and the NX30 handle noise. But overall, I'm very pleased with the results. Um, so let's go here. And this was uh, with a little bit of editing. So not bad. No, definitely getting the job done. And again, under $700 worth of gear. Well, if you count the LED lights, it was another 300 bucks. Um, so about $1,000 worth of gear, and I'm doing this. Fun shoot, it was right around Halloween. A little bit of uh, Dexter influenced, but a lot of fun. So some test shots, some images, some things to go by. Again, both cameras I think are wonderful. Um, going to keep them both. You know, the, uh, the NX30 is going to be my backup to NX1, and the NX300 is going to be, you know, the one I just grab and go, and I'm going to shoot videos with it. So um, I'll be posting more images soon be doing more tests. I'll be testing more lenses. I am really pleased to be doing all this stuff, especially since there's not a lot of people showing results of Samsung products. Uh, but I think that's about to change. I really think the NX1 is going to change the game a little bit. I really hope we start seeing some third-party Sigma, uh, Tamron, maybe uh, you know, some flashes that are coming, hopefully. I'd love to see Young Neo do a small flash for these mirrorless cameras. I was using one of their manual flashes on top of the, even on the NX30, which is a little bit bigger than the 300, the Young Neo flash still looked gigantic. I'd love to see something smaller. But anyways, um, thanks again for watching. Eddie Avenue. Have a good day.